Okay. And as you turn back, uh, you see Flynn approaching Oma and March. What do I see when I kind of approach? Are they still surrounded by these elves, or do they seem... No, the elves are uh, beginning to to move away, and some of them are going back into their homes. Some of them are, are congregating into a larger group and just sort of uh, discussing what's going on. Um, but you see that most of them have backed away. Um, I had walked towards Kellick. So is it just March in that kind of grouping? Yeah, March, where, where, where are you at? I haven't moved. I've just, I've got my eyes still on this, uh, this piece of gold in the flame. Um, I'm kind of just wanting to sit there trying to, trying to observe and look at everything and see how it's all going, what's going on and just not really wanting to move myself from right here. Um, yeah. So Olma and March are sort of on the other side of the temple from where the elves are grouped up. Okay. I'll, I'll walk up to them. Um, hey, Hey guys, you you okay? Almost, almost just staring into the fire. That's the golden fire, and and she just shrugs her shoulders, noncommittally. She won't even look at you. Um, he'll kind of kneel down next to her and pull up, pull out his bag and reach in and dig through and find. Um, one of those acorns that he picked up. Um, it probably won't mean a lot to you, but something that I like to do to kind of keep me centered whenever I'm having trouble, I like to collect things. <laughs> um, um, I got made fun of it sometimes, but I, I think it's always going to be something cool to have to kind of remember, you know, all my adventures. And I actually grabbed a few of these acorns to remind me of this place and kind of what we went through together. And I, I, if you don't want it, I can hold on to it until later. But I thought maybe it might help you rem- remember that, you know, there are good memories and bad memories, but they help us grow. And I'll hold the acorn out to her. Um, Oma will reach out and, and take a hold of the acorn and just look at it in her hand and she'll just stare at it I don't think I want to remember and she'll put it back on the ground we all make mistakes sometimes and do things we regret but it doesn't it doesn't make you a bad person. If that's what you're worried about. She looks up and for the first time she looks into your eyes and you see just depths of sorrow that you should not be able to see in somebody her age. And she just shakes her head and lowers it back. It'll be okay. We're here for you. No turn to march and I'm fine <laughs> Mar- I'm gonna kind of look at you and be like I don't really regret it I mean I mean I regretted how hard I hit him I just I didn't mean for that it just he was in a compromising position what was I supposed to do I'll um I'll pick up the acorn from the ground and I'll just kind of look at march and hand it to her and say Hold on to this for her. I don't know if it'll mean anything in the future, but maybe, maybe you can use it. I'm going to hold it in my hand and, and sort of look at it and then look down and go, you know, Flynn fellow, we've, you're not enough bad. You're a pretty good one. And I'm going to just sort of put it just in my, in my back of my, uh, my pack and, continue to sort of look between Kalik and Alma and knowing that in the time that I've been with, with Alma that the, the thing that she's just going to need is just space and, and time and she will come around to us when she wants to but I'm not going to be 
farther than 15 feet away from her. Flynn will just, or I'll just uh, kind of sit next to March, give her a pat on the knee. Just kind of just take in the scene and maybe look out and see what, what, uh, what, what Kayla's up to. <laughs> 